we'll find out when we get there. Gotcha. Haven't thought that far. Yeah. Because okay. right. I'm trying to think. Um, spell book. Let's see. Because um, I have two first level spell slots left. One fourth level. Okay. So, okay. I have a little bit more than I thought I did. That's not too terrible. Okay. Yeah, but we also don't want to blow our load. And the person I don't think she's used a single spell slot. Oh, that's right. I'm getting all the sweet things if we live. Yay! <laughs> okay. okay. So, from where y'all last left off, um, Becca and Elizar have continued to make their way down into the basement. Uh, they ran into a nice big fluffy thing with big teeth and wings. Um... Becca killed it with a fireball after it failed its uh, saving throw from uh, some sort of bead-like item that got thrown in it, uh, along with several other items. Uh, the hunt for the Gooblins, I guess, is still uh, very heavy on uh, Elizar's mind, so he uh, might be heading back to go take care of that. And okay. up, uh, yeah, upstairs, we have... Um, Nesca had just arrived back from trying to get water to try and stop the building from burning down, but unfortunately it kind of got out of hand and it wasn't really worth it. But also ran into some pretty threatening creatures along the way, which she bailed on because there's no point in trying to fight them all by herself. Bores the Seer, Mintra, and, this, uh, and made their way up to the top of the tower and uh, we're pretty happy to actually finally find some children and make sure that their climbing of the stairs wasn't all in vain. Um, I know that probably would have been a little upsetting. Little do they know that they're mimic children. <laughs> but... <laughs> what? Sorry. I didn't know um, nothing about them being mimic children. I don't what? know what you're talking about. Anyways, moving on. What? So, uh, as we... Uh... Bro, I will fall out. <laughs> is upsetting <laughs> so right um you saved you, you saved the children from the uh bernie building were attacked by these uh two birds that were giving off electricity which were surprisingly a little bit of a handful because <laughs> men and boars kept failing their saving throws yeah. so uh y'all both got down into the so. y'all both got into the red uh mentra is still actually hurting pretty good uh you have 14 health points out of your 91 health pool and uh so that was, that's fun. Um, and Nesca, you should be logging in now, you said? Yeah, I just got to find the uh, link. Do you thing. need one? I can I can send one to make it a little easier. That's fine. I found it already. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, you have made your way back from trying to do your water trip and you ran into your wolves um, <clears throat> that you ran into. Uh, and... We'll start with the, the duo downstairs, um, and we'll go from there. Yes. Um, <laughs> so, uh, don't worry. There's something for upstairs, too, I promise. About the people outside. Um, yeah, have you tried not? They're there. All right, sounds good. Okay. So, uh, technically because of the situation you're in now um we're in kind of a unique situation so mm -hmm. the upstairs is no longer in combat and y'all are technically not in combat so you are in pretty much free mode right now um which i'll uh i'll release that um to y'all and uh divvy up uh some experience to y'all from the stuff that y'all actually have killed at least so far yes experience um <laughs> give me give so, me give me <laughs> uh i've added experience to the people that were upstairs too um, delicious yeah i'm not sure i like the name of this uh music soundtrack there's nothing to infer from that at all no no way at <laughs> all what combat drow yeah Sure, sure. Um, so, but yeah, so uh, 
Becca, you are currently flying. flying. Yeah, yep. you're flying. So yep. I think fly only lasts for, let me verify, it lasts for 10 minutes. So actually, you're good for a little while. Mm -hmm. um, and then, Eliza, you drank a haste potion. So your haste potion is, let's see about when you did it, how many rounds it was. So you did that on that round, so round 10. And y'all got to round 12. So you got it for about another 30-ish seconds. Okay. So. Okay, cool. Then I will speed back. And I'm going to follow. Okay. Oh. Whoa, that's too far. Yeah, you're good. So, yeah. Ah. Take me downstairs. I can't move. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Trying to get back through my door over here. Right here. Yeah. There it is. And then I'm going to open this and I'm going to see what's down there. Uh, well, some bitch. So, okay. When I ended the combat, it deleted all the people that were on the combat tracker. So, does that mean we win? <laughs> No. So what you're saying is they're all dead. <laughs> negative. I'll take my XP in bulk. Yeah. So uh I'm trying to see. So there wasn't many down there. Um I'll do this. Let's do uh there wasn't many of these left. They knew about killed. And then I'll uh, cut this one down a bit. <clears throat> that one's good. Um, I'll just use. Oop, don't do that. Zombie. 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 Okay. So there's at least one in there. He was about half health. Then one goblin. This asshole is still alive? There's one goblin in the room still. <clears throat> so, looking oh, down into the port, you see two skeletons, one zombie, and one goblin. I am taking aim at the goblin. Okay. <laughs> All right. I will uh, do this number so you can target said goblin. Wonderful. Death from above. Still not dead yet. Okay. He's still hanging on. Yeah, he's hanging on by a little. That is like the bane of your existence right now. That's okay. Yeah, I have one track mind right now. Okay, so we'll do uh, we'll do this yeah. number. So and then I got to go to two more things. Sorry, I just realized what I was missing. All right. And can I also take a pot shot at the goblin? Sure. We'll say that y'all in conjunction plan to attack together to. Take right. a shot at the Googlin. He did. Ha ha! Googlin dead! <laughs> That's all I wanted. Yeah. Right, but I mean, now that I'm down here. Yeah. So, uh... We'll do... Let's... We'll do one of these numbers. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's better than the last time. Oh, there's still a lot of things down here. <laughs> the vampire roll the crit. Or a natural 20 for his initiative. Nice. All right, yeah. <laughs> Fuck ever, loser. Okay. So, speaking of which, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30.
How close are you? Let's see. Ah, uh, you're ten feet away. Close, 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 close. Let's see. No. And yeah. Okay. <clears throat> he he done. Spider. Okay. Here are sounds of uh, earth being ripped up. <clears throat> okay. Grab Lloyd. Don't hold on. Shield. Or... I need to like do this so I can actually see what the rolls are. So okay. it was a 19. Yeah, I could have. It's going to do four yeah. damage. Yep. Okay. You succeeded your con, too. So right. you got to take the four damage, <clears throat> or we can undo it and you can do a shield. Uh, no, I'm just going to take the four damage. Okay. All right. Oh, God. I see him. 20. Should he be able to see us, though? Because we're looking straight down. True. We're actually um, looking down at the thingy, so I wish I wouldn't be able to see him. I'll, the only thing uh, I'll be able to see is what's I'll in the room. You, I'll, I'll give you that. Yeah. Before so, you get murdered. Yeah. So technically, we shouldn't be able to see anybody who's in that room. Okay. All right, Elizar, what do you want to do? Well, we're going to clear out these jabronis, and then we're going to clear out the other jabronis, and uh, hopefully get the moon shard back. And if things get too hairy, then we get the fuck out of Dodge. Okay, let's see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See, what do I have that I can do? They always have those things called cantrips, too. I know, that's what I'm looking at. Stems be free. That was a really bad roll. Wonderful. Uh, that one uh, miss gets inside the room with y'all, and the uh, vampire is going to make his move. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He's going to look up 
towards the ladder. Mm -hmm. And look towards odds, Becca, evens, Eliza. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Succeeded. Choke yourself. Oh. Uh, shield won't do anything. Okay. All right, Becca, you're up. All right. Do I want to do that or do I not want to do that? I'll wait to do that. <clears throat> okay, so. But wait, there's more. Hmm. The um, vampire is going to run up and climb the ladder up into the room. Who did what now? Uh, the vampire used a legendary action to move up into the ladder into the room that y'all are standing in. My goodness. We're still 20 feet above the ground, though. <laughs> Hold on. There's a vampire? Yes, there's a vampire! What the and fuck? When did that happen? <laughs> Where are you at? It can use their legendary action to run it, at the end of another person's turn. Oh my wow. god. Wow, that is some shit. Okay, okay. Uh, um, Becca wants to leave. Becca wants to run away now. I mean, yeah, I bet you do, but <laughs> not your turn. Oh god. No, I'm just saying, like, Becca's gonna be like, oh fuck, we need to get out now. Like a quitter to me. Paladin was there, he'd be like, I ain't running. Okay, so it's out shield. I'll undo it. Yeah. Hit the ability. Alright, hold on. Where is it? Ch -ch 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 -ch. Keep forgetting to switch your shield with a Messier shield. His actually gives the effect. So let me do that real quick before I forget. Shield. Bam. Okay. Now I'll go to. This not consume spell slot. There it is. Right, your AC is twenty three until the start of your next turn. Okay. 
There we go. Now working as intended. Eliza, go ahead. Where, <clears throat> where is this vampire? Uh, he is just stepped out into the room with you and looking at that jump's direction. So he's directly below us. He's, yes, he's in the same room that y'all are in, but yes, below you. He's pretty much um, at the trap door. Say again? He's like pretty much standing at, he just climbed up through the trap door. Yeah. Yeah. But like, targeting. Oh, I, yeah, you have him targeted right now. He's just like on the wall, like that. Yeah. But you already had him targeted. Yeah. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is not looking too good. He moved faster than I thought he would. Okay. Um. Hmm. Wow. Most excellent start. Keep in mind they can also shape shift and use mind control. Yep. I already tried to charm somebody. Yep. That was wow. Alright, cool. So like you just go back down that way. Yep. You'll knock him uh, back down the ladder. He'll end up uh, back towards this way. And for him to move again. There he goes. Back. So. Alright. So, doing anything else? Um, I mean, it'd be real cool if he could take some bludgeoning damage from hitting the ground, but, you know, that's about it. Since I can't hit again with uh, his feed. Uh, to Damn. see about how far he fell. So, let's see. Uh, 20 with some oomph. Yeah, so, ten, so he fell 20 feet, so it'd be 2d6. So he takes 5 damage. Man, I'll take anything. Okay, alright. So, but at the end of your turn, he uh, does Fucking one of these. A. And, uh, of course he does. Stands back up because he had got knocked prone from falling down on the ground off his back. And starts begin climbing the ladder. So he gets about halfway up the ladder. Being a real piece of shit there, vampire. Real piece of shit. Damn, and his turn. Fuck! Okay. Let revise something real quick. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Mm. Damn it, Bobby. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Okay, cool. All right, I like it. All right. Um, let me read one of your things too, because I cannot remember. That says, "Okay, cool." That. All right. So, just want to read that just to verify. All right. So, skeleton here is going to do this thing. He's going to miss, and uh, this guy is going to do uh, this thing. Jesus. And he's going to climb up the rest of the ladder, which is the other 10 feet, and he's going to move an additional 10 feet to get further into the room towards one of the walls that y'all are near. Of course. Okay. Okay, that's a dead poop one, so I can't do nothing. So that's, can't his, do anything. that's the third one, right? Yep, that's the third one. Beautiful. So skeleton, uh, 
Oh, roll up that fucking crit. Oh my god. That would have been nice. Oh, but hey, look at that. So he healed. Okay. So now, he only has a movement of 20 right now. Um, and he is going to begin to scale the wall closest to y'all. So he's going to go about 20 feet up in the air on the wall. It's cute. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and he is going to look at your eyes. Let's, uh, a lot of turns. Fuck, it seems like it's stuck. Of course thinking. he is. <laughs> And I look into your Whoa. eyes. Oh no. Fun times. Okay. So no. What happened? So Eliza's charmed by the vampire. Yes. About to ask, I knew it. I was like, he's hypnotized by the vampire, isn't he? <laughs> what does the vampire look like? Uh, um, he looks like a vampire. <laughs> oh, it's not a she. It's a dude. I'll. Uh... It's a guy. I, I think it's a guy. That's I'll, uh, let's see. Depends on what like day it is. Brad Pitt from Fight Club. Yeah. It actually yeah. kind of looks like, looks look, kind of like Brad Pitt from Interview. He looks like Lestat, but this is true. Oh, um, vampire. I'm trying to see. I think I have a, uh. Oh, the vampire. I think I have a thing for him. Let's see. Man, dude, I was fucking ready for this vampire too. I had some shit ready. <laughs> you never, you never know how these things are gonna work out, especially when it comes to me. <laughs> fucking rolls, dude. I roll the die. Yep. Can't, uh, can't take everything into consideration. Shit's always random. Um, let's see. Here's my picture. I was looking for it to see. Um. Okay, so I'm going to show this image to y'all. I don't know if you see it. Yay, nay. Nay. Uh, I can see it. Oh, there we go. Been... Or, or... Aim. He doesn't oh, look see. happy. Jeez, <laughs> oh, he does not look happy. He looks frightening. <laughs> He looks ghastly. He looks like he wants to kill me. <laughs> looks like a bitch. We need, Might eat me. we need to kill this bitch. <laughs> Are you right? Okay. okay. Damn bitch. Well, look who Jackie came Daytona for a little sucky sucky. Dreams. So I love him. Now, Elizar, uh -huh. because you failed your saving throw, yeah. you are now charmed, and you will regard the vampire as a trusted friend to be heated and protected. Now, now you're not under my complete control, but um, it will take you'll take my requests, the vampire's requests and actions in the most favorable way it can, and it will willingly target for the vampire's bite attack. So if I come up to bite you, you'll willingly take it. Well, what the fuck? Are you about to uh, I, mean, <laughs> I got my hands tied here, bud. Um, Liza, are you about ready to become a vampire? I mean, you I'm go not full ready, vamp? but I mean, if the shit happens, like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Uh, I can be very convincing. Maybe I can convince you to leave your friend and let him go back to sleep and pass Maybe you can just knock me unconscious and take me the fuck out of here. Um, I don't know if my character's strong enough to drag you out. I'm very squishy. Now, <clears throat> each time the vampire or any of the vampire's companions do anything harmful to you, you can repeat the saving throw, ending the effect on success. Otherwise, this lasts for 24 hours. Unless the vampire is destroyed, I'm on a different plane of existence than you, or I take an action, a bonus action to end the effect. Cool. Are there vampires hiding among us? I really need to prepare the spell True Sight out and destroy them oh he wasn't hiding I, that doesn't mean his his fucking cronies aren't 
No, no we're, sorry, how do you we're, we're outside in the daylight. It's nighttime. It's in oh. the evening. It's in the evening. It's about 7.20 exactly. at night. And uh, I'm sure they have, like, human ghoulish fucking... I'm just trying to be careful. You're saying we should kill them all. All right, Becca. If true sight reveals them to be something they're not, then yes. All right. Uh... Oh, shit, let's I'm going to have to rest. Now, I do believe that any time Elizar takes damage, he gets the ability to make the roll. Shoot him, Becca. Shoot him. Um. With your gun. Uh. <laughs> what is going to do the least amount of damage to Elizar? Um. Right. Um. Okay. Um. <clears throat> oh, okay. I had something. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm going to hit you with magic missile because I think that's the least damaging thing I got. Okay. Or can I just walk up to him and slap him? <laughs> Well, you'd have to get through his AC, which his AC is 19 right now, so... Magic missile it is. Magic missile it is. Okay, so I'll shoot... Whoa! Well, okay. <laughs> Rolling that max, max hit already. I love it. All right, so okay. Elizar. So that's um, one hit, and I have two beams left, so... Yeah. So, um, I will do the charm effect on you again, so that way it'll it'll roll for you to save. Which you succeeded. Wondrous. So I can um, do two more beams. Correct. Um, I'm going to do and target Elizar. So um, how do I do the other two beams? Do I just? Uh, I think I just added the extra. I just yeah. It'll okay. it'll. There should be like a, some stars <clears throat> in the innate spell casting. You should see them. Okay. That's okay. your extra bolts. There we go. So that's one. Two. Okay, so that's my third bolt. And then I'm going to, um, you can move me back up to the other map. I'm going to start moving away. <clears throat> All, All right. right. So you so would have been about here. Yeah. So what I'm going to do to compensate y'all being able to see where the vampire is in relation yeah. to y'all's positioning. Uh -huh. So I'm going to move you and Eliza up top. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move Eliza there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Eliza was standing about on this side. The vampire is 20 feet in the air on the wall. Okay. So, so he's, he's he's climbing up on the wall, mm -hmm. and so but he's about right there. He's about in the middle of you, all, okay. But he's not within scratching distance of you. All right, so I'm gonna go five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Whoa! How did that happen? Because you went down over the trap door. It's okay. Oh, yeah. Just walk back up. Just walk down one. It won't walk up one. Okay. There we go. Okay, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. 30, 35, 40. Right there. All right. Okay. Now, you have a flying speed of 60. That's right. Because that was 45, 50, 60. Because I want to be able to see the vampire analyzer if I need to be. Okay. Okay. So, after you move. The vampire gets closer and crawls into within striking distance of Elizar. He can't. How many actions does he have? They replenish at the start of his turn. He has three every single time. Yep. Wow. 
All right, cool. Yeah. So he is now close enough to hit Elizar, but it he only can do the one move on his turn. So uh, Skeleton, that's on the bottom, is going to try and take a shot at Elizar with his bow. Okay, who am I? I'm somehow targeting both. Okay, let me fix that. Blam. Okay, he missed. So, at the end of his turn, he's going to take a swipe at Elizar with another action. God. On my turn? Uh, at the end of that skeleton's turn. Legendary actions, man. Ugh. He could take one at the end of any creature's turn. But he, but he can only do three around, right? Correct. Uh, did it roll an attack at all? Mm, I don't see anything. Okay, I'll do this then. Oh, look at that! Wonderful. That's, uh, that's, that's nice. I will actually do the damage. I have the option to try to grapple you, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do the damage. I'm gonna do the damage. Because that was a good hit. Alright, so Eliza, your turn. I'm about to say, what the fuck? You just skipped over me? Yeah, you're good. <sighs> okay. Um now, further reminder, because you are using haste, you could use that little extra thing to oh no wait i don't think wait can you use it to dash i can't remember i know we've had this uh i think you can't um i we uh i was trying to remember because I mean, we did this before we we were wrong let me verify again so i thought it gave um, you an action you actually can you can use disengage. it to dash that is a the, to dash and disengage is one of the things you can do yeah 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 i just okay. wanted to verify i was like i couldn't remember if we'd fucked that up before or not but yes you can Use your free action from your haste potion to disengage. Hmm. Or you can fight him in his face. I mean, I'm not cool with either one. Yeah, I bet you are. I'm sure Boris would be very oh. proud of you to fight him man, like man to man. Fight yeah, him I like am a man. Squishy. Go hand to hand with the vampire. Yeah. Just... in, coach. We'll do it. Straight up Cobra Kai, this shit. <laughs> hmm. Knock out his teeth. That's how that works, <laughs> right? All of his powers in his teeth, just punch him in his stupid face. Yes, if I disengage, it would that be means force I can move defense. without it hitting me. And then. Oh, fuck me. Mm. Decisions, decisions. These are fun decisions, though, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Let's use one to disengage. And then... As I'm moving, wait, hold on. Can we still see down there? Like, are they trying to come up? Or are they literally like they too stupid? Can, they to can't use the come ladder? up. They can't climb. Well, I'm just dead. Okay. Uh, but they could shoot at you with bows. But the zombies are just the one zombie down there can't do anything. Um, the vampire is the only thing that could come after you. Okay. All right. So then, yeah, I will disengage. Move back. And as I'm moving back, I will throw one of my alchemic flasks at it. At the vampire? Mm-hmm. Okay. So you, uh, you're alchemist Actually, fire. no, wait, stop. Pause. No, he's, he's on the fucking ceiling. So even if I hit him with a fucking blast, he's just going to go into the ceiling some more. However... I mean, if you get hit with some concussive force, you might want to think about regripping. I mean, you could huh? potentially hit him with your Eldritch Blast and it would come off the wall. 
Nya, nya. Nya. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, let's, well then I don't even need to disengage if that's the case. Uh, let's do one. Miss. Oh, it hit. Oh, oh wonderful. Okay, cool. So he'll get knocked off the wall and uh, take 2d6 falling damage from falling down onto the ground. Is he going to go all the way down? No, not all the way down, but he'll fall down onto the floor of the, of the room you're in. Okay, is there a way I can angle him so he goes down there? Uh, when you hit him, just to get him away from he's just going to go straight back and then just okay. fall on the ground right there. Okay, so no. It's easy. Um... Yeah, fuck it. Well, that's not supposed to happen. Okay, it wouldn't matter. It's that was actually supposed to be disadvantage. Oh, because he's prone. Okay. But to stand up and then come after you, he would have ten movement. Okay, so he's gonna go over there. So that's that. Um. Can I now throw something at him? Well, that was your action, so... Right. But I have to... haste. Well, you so used... can I not do that or no? Well, you're... Because um... I didn't use it you to can You can use an object as an action. So what were you wanting to throw at him? Holy water. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you say you have a flask of holy water? Okay. I do. Okay. So... The target is an undead creature, so it'll take do two d six radiant damage. So it can be thrown up to twenty feet. Um, so you are twenty feet up in the air, and you pushed him back some. So he's thirty feet away from you at the moment. Okay. Uh... You, can sure, fly, I can... you can always fly closer to him. Yeah, I can fly into ten feet and then move back to thirty five. Okay. So you want to chuck your flask of yeah. holy water at him? Okay. Be cleansed, foul demon. Wait. Why am I rolling at disadvantage? It's because he's still prone. Um, anytime you attack a prone enemy, it rolls with disadvantage. Because you're oh. aiming at a flat oh, object on the ground. Yeah. yeah. Anytime he's a ranged oh. attack, it's it's their disadvantage. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, and to chunk a flask of holy water is equipped with making a uh, throw with it, uh, which is, it counts as a ranged attack against that creature um, as an improvised weapon. Sure. Uh, but if they are undead, which they are, which is an excellent time to use it, does 2d radiant damage. Um, but uh, unfortunately, the, no the flask missed. missed. Yeah. Okay, so that's gonna splash all over the place. Whatever, and then I'm gonna move back to the thirty-five. Uh, let's see. That's that five. was a really good strategy, though. 10, I will give you that. Fifteen, twenty, and a twenty-five, the thirty, and then the thirty-five. Ooh. Well, technically, I'd still be down there. If you need to, just move back down the stairs. You're kind of like let me move a space to like the left or the right, and then there, there you go. go. <clears throat> okay. So, the end of your turn. You son of a bitch. <laughs> he is going to stand up, which will take half his movement. Which he'll have 10 movement. And he's just going to slowly walk 10 feet towards Elster. Okay. Uh, skeleton underneath can't do anything because he can't see y'all anymore. So, yep. And a Vampire, at the start of his turn, will heal for 20. And uh, start slowly walking after you. 5, 10... 15, 20. 
So he is uh, <clears throat> in the room with you, and he will look up towards Becca. Fuck yes. Son of a bitch. Hey, he just looks at you. you. He just kind of throws his hand towards you. He's like, come to me, little girl. <laughs> Fuck. Wait. Wait. Uh... Vampire really being a real piece of shit right now. Uh... <laughs> you guys are having a lot of trouble with one dude. Well, that's what happens when you're very squishy and you don't like it. You can't be in, like... This is what happens when we, we separate from the Easter tank. Cups. <laughs> All right, so what is the thing? Define right, I, could have, I could have ended this guy in a couple turns at this point. Oh, you probably oh, could. I don't yeah. doubt it, but we squishy. Is it the same as Elizar's, or is it different? The exact same. Exact same. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, but that was his action to, to do that. All right, so Becca, it's the start of your turn. Uh, Am I see. unable to run away from him? Technically, no. You are able to. You are able to I just, run I'm away not, from him. I can run away from him. All right, so You're I don't have comfortable dis anymore. I want to go. I don't have. Um, I don't have to disengage because I'm 20 feet above, right? Correct. Yes, you are above him. All right, so I'm gonna go five, ten, fifteen. Whoa. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And then, is it 50 or 60? You can go 60. All right. So that's 55, 60. And then I'll go, I'll wait, I'll wait there in my turn there. All right. And the vampire waves his hand and makes ten goblins. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of that last guy's turn, um, he's just kind of—he's going to kind of look at you, Lizer, and smile and just start slowly walking up the steps. Oh, he's just going to completely disregard me. Yeah. I don't like this. <laughs> You're a real piece of shit, there, guy. All right, so Lizer, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, well, fuck. I got to go after this asshole now. He's like what at the top of the stairs here? Yes, he's he's made his way to the flat spot at the top of the stairs. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go a little bit past him. I'll say right there. Uh... Fuck, man. Fun, ain't it? You have no idea. And you got about okay. you got about two more rounds of your haste. Yeah. Um. I don't think. No, I don't think we can do this. I think this guy's a little, uh, a little too much for us. So, I will. Does grabbing someone count as a bonus or an action? In terms of like what, trying to grab onto someone to take them? Yes. Um, so. Part of the action that is for the haste effect itself, like for the exact wording, is to make one weapon attack only to dash, disengage, hide, or use an object, or the exact word that allows you to be able to do with your free action. So if you wanted to use your action to grab her and fly away, that would be your primary action, not the one with haste. But also, yeah. if you're trying to DD, that is part of the spell, is that you can grab somebody and bring them with you. Okay. 
Perfect. So then I will come through this fucking wall here. Uh, is it whatever? I'm going to push it close as one action. Yep, that is that is a viable thing. Yep, you could use your free action from haste to shut that door. And then we're getting the fuck out of dodge, you. Um, I would be willing to do that, correct? Even though I'm charmed? Correct, yes. You're not okay. yep. a unwilling participant. You're okay. just for twenty four hours you just see him very, very favorably unless he does anything to harm you. Okay, that's fair. Okay. Right. If not, you're getting socked, so yeah, yeah we're going. So. <laughs> yeah. All so right. they all wanna head upstairs. I'm saying, are you gonna, yes. Are you gonna where where are you wanting to teleport to? So you do not know that the chapel was on fire because you We do not know the chapel is I'm assuming not we're just that gonna... bad as it was. It, it was like no, a, when we left it was starting to burn. Yeah, it was starting to burn, but it wasn't like raging inferno that it was Correct. that everybody else saw. So However, you could safely assume that if I put myself in the middle of cathedral, we're good. It was on fire. It is either burnt or crisp or still on fire. <laughs> So are you uh, wanting to safely go outside of the cathedral? Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a that's a good answer. Okay, you're like you're like I remember what the outside looked like. I want to go there. Mm. <laughs> oh. okay. Fucking vampire, dude. Yeah. All right, so Very I'm gonna pull. Spaghetti. I'm gonna pull y'all to the scene. So upsetting spaghetti. At least we killed the goblin. Dishonor on you. Dishonor on your cow. God, man. We're back, guys. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> We're back at Dinosaur Story. Okay. <laughs> so. <clears throat> oh, man. You see everyone that's up top sees this, you know, magical door appear in the center of the uh, area right there. Um, unfortunately, the mayor was kind of standing in the way of where the door was and just splits him in half. Those. Oh, that's um, I don't care. Whatever. Uh, I don't think that's how that works. I, I'm just joking. Um, no, it's okay. just like, like magic portal just goes whoops. Sorry, you just got hit by the Stargate. My bad. Um, <clears throat> but uh, so uh, you see Elizar and uh, Becca pop out of this uh, magical door and they step through and then it disappears. And uh, when you uh, kind of see all the chaos that ensues behind you, and you see all the collection of people um, that are outside this, this now burning church. Uh, all of you that are standing out there hear this sound. Son of a bitch. Three times. Hear it three times. Okay, where do we hear it from? Uh, you hear it coming from the east. <sighs> Sounds like a good scrap. You guys ready? Yeah, I fucking guess so. <laughs> uh, find some cover under a fucking tree. Yeah, as soon as I hear that, uh, Nasir's like, boom. He 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 teleports. Where are you heading? Where are you teleporting to? Right over here. I still you have Becca. Smell right now? Becca under my arm. Uh, I have far step. Now let's see where far step. Four, how long run over here? Last far. I don't know how long it. They were down th from the time we got out to the time they do. Your far step at that point would have been expired. Okay, so never mind. You're good. And I'm not teleporting. Okay, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. No one else is concentrating on anything. Now I will suggest. And I will give yes. you the option, because I am I am nice, Mintra, <laughs> because you would have been standing up there for a while. Uh, you are very low health. Yeah, I was definitely intending to heal were, myself. And, and I would highly suggest doing so. Yep, that was. Can, cannot that say was that fine. I'm not a gracious person. Why can't I target myself? How many potions of healing do I have currently? You can double right click on yourself. That'll work. There we go. Now we're moving. Use, okay. use that. Oh, you can waste I, your spell. Can I drink a potion? Do I have time to do that? I mean, we D&D'd right where you are, and then I 
continue to run over to this tree. Oh, sorry, Nesk. I just got your potion before you did that. Oh, okay. Very good. Use that so you don't waste all your spell slots. Okay. You win. Thanks. God, would I have time to down a potion as I'm walking over to that tree? Same Z's. Mm. I have a potion. Is the vampire outside? No. No, he stayed oh. somewhere. Oh. Sure. You have time to take one potion. Okay. I want to run into the burning building. Oh, that's, that's better. better. <laughs> You're going to have to go further than just the burning building. Ooh, that was good. Oh, We're you healing like... people. Needs to be healed. I'll heal somebody. I used potions. I, I am fine at the moment. Well, Mintra is the one we're in, gar in charge yeah. of protecting, so you should probably heal her. Yeah. Which one is that? The little, uh, little gnome. Sure one. one. Uh, <laughs> the, the little gnome. I'm smart. Just a little guy. But I, okay, I, I am moving. I don't want to be in a crowd. That's a dragon coming for us. So after drinking a few potions, I'd like to move. I am trying to target myself. Double right click. Why'd you all take so much damage? Not everyone has a 26 AC. And immune to everything. <laughs> nope. It's not my fault. Build your character better. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I, I, I have built no, my just character. Don't. I just got here. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't, good. <laughs> I don't get hit very often. I just when I do get hit, it's by crits. Uh, nah, bro, you get hit all the fucking time. Don't even. Um, <laughs> God, I'm gonna assume I'm no longer concentrating and I'm no longer flying. It lasts for ten minutes, and it has not been oh. ten minutes. Oh, then I yeah, I'm still flying, or I'm not currently in the air now, but I'll keep it active. You have at least fly active yeah. enough that you could fly if you uh, needed to. Yeah. So, God, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing wrong, but I'm going to try to use one of them greater healing potions. Okay, I can help you out. <clears throat> you want the greater, you said? Yes. Okay. There you go. And poor oh, Beckett yeah. still feels funny. <laughs> <laughs> A little better. Muchos. All right. So, like I said, you hear uh, you hear that effect and that uh, sound, and uh, it, the sound starts getting gradually closer, and you hear uh, coming from multiple multiple directions. Oh shit! To the east. This is gonna be a great time. Are they? Well, What's coming in multiple directions? A noise. <laughs> Great. Is that the growl I heard? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> next, next, we're going to hear wings uh, flapping. <laughs> ass. So, um, oh, that, is, that is Elizar to Becca right now. We're going to pull up to the mayor. Pull I'm yourself pulling, together, I'm yes. I'm pulling up to the mayor. I have Just to ask him smack. questions. <laughs> Until her charm goes away. I feel warm and funny. And we continue. The beatings will continue until morale. <laughs> those growls. What sort of beasts live in this land? The uh, the mayor looks just very confused. He's never heard that sound before. I see something. I see something. Yeah, you should all probably peace out. Uh, peace out where? Back into the burning church? No, um, I mean, uh, yeah, well, they should Eliza? scatter. Eliza, do you see see what's in the corner? Yup. That's Is all. It? Fucking dinosaur, bro. So um, I, no, 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 it's not. Is it really? Five, um, 10, 15, it is a drow riding 30, 35, a, 40, 40, a lizard. 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. Oh, okay. Time for elf. No, I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit it. I can hit it. I'm gonna hit it. I can hit it. I'm gonna. All right. So the thing dashes a hundred feet towards your direction. And I'm gonna hit it. <laughs> if I you see all, a charge at me, I'm gonna hit a, it too. You all, all have an, you all have initiative rolls, by the way. Only I've rolled. I've already one. rolled. Eliza and I both have fifteen. Yeah, I can hit that <laughs> thing though. I have an initiative roll. Is it new mm -hmm. initiative? Yeah, yeah. Because I'm seeing the, the combat from downstairs. Okay, yeah, me too. Me, um, 
tunnel spider. Okay, let me. No, 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 no. I'll do this, and then I'll. Uh... Okay, so they're drow cavaliers. I got a twenty-three. Oh no, nah, I would have hit that thing at least three times on its way over. Well, you're also all were distracted healing yourselves, taking potions. I can undo the potions if you want to be more aware of your surroundings. I want the potions. I want the potions. I, want the potions. I mean, I'm, I'm perfectly fine taking the health away. I can I can click the button. It's, I mean, I reversed that 13 health real quick. No, no I'm good. That's fine. But I actions, see it now. Actions have consequences. Now, as a reaction, would I have time to raise oh, myself yeah, up in the air? As I see them coming by? I do not see them. No, you will in a second here. Oh, you you will. They're they're at the corner of the building. Oh, oh, okay. They're coming around the building. Yeah. I still don't have an initiative roll. I don't know if I'm supposed to be getting one. You have I still have like number one. Yeah. How oh, about I don't now? see it on my end. No, I don't uh, even see myself re, on the contact uh, tractor. Refresh your game and see if that helps it. Just tap escape twice and then it'll pop up a little window that'll say reload application. The fucking dinosaur, bro. Okay. Did Trial? Muska, did resetting yours work? I'm I'm in the process of resetting mine right now. Yeah, I can okay. see the right combat tracker now, but it's already rolled my initiative for me, I guess. I can re-roll it if you want me to. I mean, it won't matter. I'll probably do worse anyways. Yep. That was the re-roll. Do would you rather yeah, have I a twelve? Do, do you want it twelve? Worse. Yeah, it's fine. It's whatever. Like, I'll I don't take care. a twelve. Yeah, honestly, yeah, I, I I expected that. I, like it's like the checks and balances of being in more. Yeah, it's the only thing. I I go. It's like I some some secret behind the scenes of minus five <laughs> to my initiative or something. It was a plus one on both of them. Yeah, Let's I know. Yep, I'll, I'll keep what I have there. Oh, yeah. Drow Mintra, you, like I said, you are you're at the top of the order. Do you see yourself? I'm still loading. Okay, that's fine. Let me know when you. It's be, about uh... to pop up. That's fine. Also, you're at the edge of the building and on the front lines of what's about to be combat. Motherfucker. True story. Sorry. True story. <laughs> Use the civilians yeah. as a shield. <laughs> you may Bruh, no, want for to real. Move. Yeah, no, There's definitely. two small girls that you just saved that are unconscious on the ground behind you. What Fuck do you do? <laughs> I mean, there's Cannon like fodder. 20 people out here that actually know the kid that I feel like are more responsible for them than I am at this point. I saved yeah, them from a burning building. You can put those uh, kids on that fucking wagon or some shit and throw blankets you, uh, over them. Or, yeah, she's I mean, what's she gonna do with the dragons that. coming? You could also put them in between you and the fucking oh, it, dinosaurs. It, it's not dragons, it's velociraptors. Yeah. It's velociraptors. Oh, I see them now. The dr drow love the riding lizards, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking do. Under. The children are on, are unconscious. I can't do anything with them. I can't even carry them. That sounds like a them problem. All right, I'm yeah. gonna boot scoot on over here. <laughs> <laughs> Go hide behind the wagon. Yeah. Yeah, because I can't. Oh, I can see him now. What we need to do is we need to get you a wagon pulled by some big beasts, and we need to mount a fucking gun on that wagon. And... Oh, hold shit. on a second. A mini hold gun. Hold on a second. Yeah. One minute. Okay, I can shoot them from here. Okay, well, I guess I'll just stay moving away from them. These, I can shoot them through these barrels and crates st and stuff, right, God? It's tall enough that you would be able to take a shot at it. Now, right, so I, I have them as two separate things because they are two separate things. The Velociraptor-looking thing is in the front. The rider's the one in the back. Mm -hmm. So, the guy riding it is this one. The one in front of it is the, the animal itself. They are two separate entities. Oh. 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 oh, now I'm in the dilemma of do I shoot his horse or him? Oh, son of a... Mm, Sun, Sun Tzu maker. would say to shoot the rider because a yeah. horse makes for good panic. But these aren't horses. These are Velociraptors. Yeah, I oh. feel like they're pretty intelligent, intelligent oh, guys by themselves. Maybe. Yeah, I would. I would personally take out the actor. Because drow on foot, I can. They're literally. they I can choke them out. Easy. I'm gonna do the velociraptor then. I take out the raptor. Thank you, you for on board to fight it. You're welcome. 
These drow are about to find out they're not the only one with mounts. Okay. So you just shot something over in that direction. Correct. The yeah, they cart, do be coming. The cart uh, partially blocks your line of sight because it's a tall cart. Him, 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 him. Knowing nothing here, we will try one of my new spells out. What'd you do? Let's see. So you tried uh Erupting Earth. Earth. Okay. So So that area is now difficult terrain. Okay. And if they fail their saves, they take uh three D twelve damage. Okay, which it did the, it did the damage already, so yep. did that. They did it took sixteen damage. Yep. And so difficult terrain there for them. And that'll be me. Okay. All right. So uh, the writer on this one. Yeah, the earth just kind of erupted in, in you know, big Got squares him. of earth. Got him. Okay. Succeeded your con save. Ah, you trap poison bitch. Cool. That's cool. That's cool. You better hope it's not drought poison, or else you'll just fall unconscious. That's mm, something. Before. All right, Boris, you're up. All right. I'm gonna reach into my bag. I'm gonna take out my little ivory ram statue, and I'm gonna toss it at the ground. And I'm gonna speak the magic words. Okay. So you're summoning Basher. I bring him out. There's Basher. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get on him. Okay. Let me uh, verify and something real quick. I assume I can move, but summoning him is probably my action. Your action is that, and uh, let me let me verify. I think mounting an animal counts as an action. So let me let and me. And it takes verify. half your movement. Is it half your movement? Okay, to yep. to get on it. Okay, I couldn't remember off the top of my head. Um. So yeah. So. You would have 15 feet of movement, but it's technically, you know, I'll add the, uh, so mount, mount of combat's always kind of where I get a little... The mount will still get feet. its own movement. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, so, but yeah, you, if you mount on it, that would be as far as you could go, but, uh, uh, so once he's on it, does the, is the, the, with his goat move now after that? Yeah, I mean, uh, however you want to do the initiative, whether you want it to be right next to him or if you want it to roll like you have the other mounts. Yeah, I'll um, I'll add him to the tracker and I'll do it. Uh, I'll do it uh, equivalent to the others. I'm trying to see where he's at on the tracker. Where, where there he is. There's the ram. So okay, all right. So anything else you're doing, Logan? I'm going to. I have some bonus action spells. Yeah. Right. You Quick. can throw the old spiritual weapon out. I probably probably the best idea. We'll do that. Okay. All right. Perfect, so perfect, 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 I'll uh, throw out spiritual priest, weapon. Sacred flame, spiritual weapon, spiritual weapon. There it is. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, Come on out. Yeah, I've summoned it. Um, okay. Yay. So, as close as I can get it to the drow, and call we'll call that. Okay, my turn. let me see how far you can send it out to sixty feet. Sixty feet. Um, so the so you're wanting to hit the drow with it, if possible. Yeah. Uh, let me see if that's within sixty feet. Let me verify. Uh, it Find is out. within sixty feet. 
All right, so I'll, uh... Ah, damn it, still doing that fucking thing again. All right, let me... I always forget that this isn't the, the good one. I gotta remember to delete this one, because this does shit every fucking time. Okay, so... Target one creature, piece of shit. One. And 1d8, okay. Yeah, all right, let me, I'm gonna delete that one and get the other one, the other one I know works. Let me verify that. Yep, that's the good one. Okay, so now let me add the correct one. So, all right, so, all right, your spiritual weapon attacked the drow and hit him. Did uh, eight damage and yeah. Yay. All right, are you? Yep, you're done. All right, so Eliza. Thank you. Yep. All right, Eliza, you got uh, a mount. Mounted yeah. rider coming your way. I'm gonna fly forty-five up. So you're gonna go forty-five up in the air. Yup. Okay. All right, you're in the air. Hopefully knock that guy off his thing. It will knock him off of it. Okay. Yep. Anything else you're doing? So, Becca, you just saw Eliza am... knock that guy off his off his rafter. All right. Um, let's see. I too am also going to go forty five feet up in the air, and I'm going to shoot the Velociraptor. Okay. All right. I'm gonna have to put y'all on the ground, but I'll just remember y'all are up because you won't be able to target if you're. Yeah, I was just about to say there. that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll just keep y'all on the ground, but we'll know that y'all are elevated. Okay. Simple enough to know that. Okay. Uh, so the raptor. So let me reread your thing again for your spell. So it's difficult terrain. It says each five foot square portion of the area requires at least one minute to clear by hand. So is that basically it creates almost like large, um, it's large, basically stones of that erupt up in the ground to prevent it from basically you know moving out of normally. Yeah, it's it it, it can it can walk through it. It's just difficult terrain, which means that. It, each square counts as 10 feet. All right. So, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Uh, let's see here. That, that was at me. Uh, it hit AC 20. I would shield that. Okay. Hit shield. So you're doing the same thing, shield. Okay. Alrighty. So it uh, finished attacking. Alright, Nesca. Alright. Well, 
We got two people, three people on this side. I guess me and the griffin will take the north side. So we'll move up to here. Okay. So I'll attack the dude. Peace. What are you doing? So, okay, so the rider's on the ground. He got knocked off the mount. Um... All right. Well, I'll target the mount then. That's fine. Okay. Let's see. What are we at? We'll just do it normally. Then we will move forward a little bit more and that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. All right, Mintra. Okay. I'm gonna Try to see if I can move away from him some. No, I want to go. Well, if you try to get out of his range, like completely walk away from it, both enemies would get an attack of opportunity against you. I didn't hear what you said. The music was a little loud. What did you say? Sorry. If you try to move away from both of them, then both enemies would get an attack of opportunity against you. Okay, well, then I will stay where I am. So, as a bonus action, we gotta start my nice little blade song. And then... So, even though I'm right here, can I attack the drow that's on top of this dinosaur? Uh, if he is right beside you, yes. He is technically beside you. He is okay. sitting on top of the thing right next to you. We will hit him with Okay, and then we are going to cast Green Flame Blade. So that's that's the one where I have to attack first, right? Which you just attack, so that will uh you just, well, uh, I get two attacks. I'm going to attack him a, a second time. Yeah, so if you're going to do Green Flame Blade, um, I would have rather you have done it on the last one, so that way it would trigger the effect, and then that way. So um, roll again to get a hit, or try to get a hit. Well, I get two attacks. Oh, I, I understand, I understand, but I know you're going to use Green Flame green, Blade. I was going to use the Green Flame Blade on the second attack. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. So I was going to say, since you got a hit to guarantee it to roll the green flame blade, that way it's done, and you would apply that effect, and then you could attack again. Oh, okay. That's what I'm saying, because you already got a hit, that way it would have guaranteed the effect, because it, it requires you to get a hit to, for the effect to apply. I gotcha. But just roll, roll to attack again, yep. so that way... God dang it. You want me to roll again? Uh, we'll let it ride since it was like back to back misses. Yep. Okay. Um. And. It'll be my turn. Okay. All right. So the cavalier will stand up. And. He will uh, stab at the um, giant griffin standing over his body uh, with his long sword. Rude. Okay. 
Uh, how is he? Is he tar oh, he's targeting him. I see those two wolves. It's my fault. Okay, so. Hey, look at that net. That's a good start. Alright, and for his second attack. Okay. He is done. Alright, so Logan, so now your ram can move. Where would you want your ram to take you? Alright, is there enough room behind that tree right there that I could come up behind the... Yes. You would want to do yeah, one of these go. numbers? Okay. Yeah, correct. I was thinking about going around it, but if I could cut through even better, yeah. I'm going to pull up here, and I'm going to take out the whooping stick. Okay, not your turn to attack. That's just the, the ram moving you over to that direction. Oh, is it is it Basher's turn? Yes. Can he headbutt the shit out of the Velociraptor? Um, so... Um... A... The... Ram has basically a a ram attack, which is a um, it's a d twenty plus five. I it deleted my old ability of it, so five. So who are you wanting to hit with? Are you wanting to hit the Velociraptor or the? Ram? I'm gonna take out his mount. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, target the mount. Okay, he missed. I uh, don't think that's gonna cut it. No. Uh, waiting on that but uh but yeah that's all uh all basher can do is get you over there that's okay i'm here okay but hey you're at least in the right spot okay that's so uh after you showed up and you attacked his mount the uh cavalier is a little upset by that and he uh attempts to swing at you with his lance that he's got attempts whatever he wants okay i forgot starting in this here too whoops okay and lance okay and the second attack that might do it yeah. okay. all right what bonuses does this guy have? All right, that's he right. gets a uh, he multi attacks. He gets twice per turn. That uh, makes sense. Oh. All right, but now it is your turn. Yes. Now you yeah. can move the. Yeah, I hate when it takes my text away and I can't read it. So you can move the weapon up to twenty feet as a part of your as a bonus action. Bonus right? action as your bonus action to move it to attack. You can move it up to twenty feet. So it's kind of a floating object. So it's technically not really being hindered by the difficult terrain. So okay. 5, so 10, 15, is, 20 would get it right there. If I hit him with my club, I can knock him back a space as a bonus action. Do I knock him and his mount back, or do I knock him off his mount? It would be him in particular. Now, would, if you, you would... Um, so, okay... Do you want to move your spiritual weapon, yes or no? I have not decided yet. Okay, because that will determine whether or not if you can push him off with a shove action. So right. if you hit action. if you hit him with the stick and you get a hit and you do the damage, then you can use the shove as a bonus action. Does it shove him in his whole mount or does it knock him off Just the mount? Just him. It would knock him off the mount because you're hitting him with the that's stick. That's fucking great. Yeah, I want to knock him off the mount because that's humiliating. Okay, so you have to hit him with the whooping stick. Right, I haven't even used Channel Divinity yet, so we're going to land a hit. Yes. Magic stick. Okay. Roll. Uh, let me check it. Okay, yeah, it did an 18, it hit him. It was just really nice. delayed for some reason. Um, nice. So it did twelve damage, and then so you want to use your shove your shove action. Yeah, I want to knock him off his mount. Okay, so that'll knock him off and knock him prone onto the ground. Yeah. 
So, but you'll have to leave your spiritual weapon word set because that would cost right. you a bonus action. It's all right. It's so. still hanging out. It's still nearby. Okay. All right. Turn. I'm good. So, good. Okay. Yeah, magic stick. All right. So just to end your turn. I'm still seeing the old tracker. Uh, refresh your game, and you should be good. I do that. Yeah. Refresh game. I'll go ahead and do it for you. So, Eliza, you're up. Cool, 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 cool. I'm gonna fly. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'll fly to there. Okay. Oh, that guy's prone. Yes, he got knocked off his. Uh, he got knocked off his mount. Him. Mm. The shit out of him. The guy next to me isn't. Yeah. But he's kind of like, I know you can handle it. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. And then the other guy should be right around the corner here. Mm. How far can I fly? 45, 45 feet, right? 45, yeah. yeah. Okay, so I did 35, I think that's uh, right there would be all of it. Okay, well, I can't get to him. You lucky bitch. Okay, so that did not add the okay. plus two. That's not, I was testing his ram attack, so... That would be accurate. Okay. Mm. Mm. I get. Oh. Of course, the old college try. All right, Becca. All right. So, I'm going to go. All right, so I'm going to 5, 10, 15. Oh, he's prone. Eh, I'll do this one. All right. Uh okay. All right, so Nesca, you're up. All right, let's fuck him up. Nope. Yeah. All right, Mitchell, you're up. Okay. It's falling or on the ground, right? Correct. So if I move away from him now, he doesn't have any opportunity anymore? He would still get attack of opportunity, but he would attack with disadvantage against you. So should I just shoot him then? If you want to get out from Make sure he from stays now, down. If you want Go to ahead. get away from him, now mm -hmm. is the time to do it. Okie doke, that's what I'll do. 
because he's gonna roll two d20 and take the worst worst result okay let's see All right, then I'm going to move over this way. Ooh, rolled off that 20. Okay. Uh, you can still attack him if you want to. Oh, okay. Then I'll go back and attack him. I don't know why I didn't think about that. It's fine. Didn't want you to waste, uh, waste the turn just moving. So merciful is our lord. Wow, double 20s. Oh, double 20s with disadvantage. That's crazy. It's insane. That's probably the most rare thing ever. You made it happen, our lord and savior Bradley. <laughs> shit, dude. That is awesome. It's almost shit, man. It's, it's almost as nice as uh, <laughs> one of our Eliza gets double ones on advantage. It's my favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> Okay. Should have been there. It's happened about three times. Yeah. We will do. Oh. Oh, I guess he's dead. <laughs> yep, he's dead. He dead. I watched him die. <laughs> uh, let's see here. That's five. We're heading back up that way. There goes my turn. Okay. All right. So, do you want your ram to move you anywhere? Um. That raptor's still alive, right? Uh, no. The two that were in front of you are both dead. Hey. All right. Where are the Where are the closest enemies? Uh, you do not know. the church. Can I head that way? Uh, well, you have a bit of an obstacle, but you'll have to work your way around. Let me think. Unfortunately, Nasir made it a little harder to get around that side of the building. It's all right. I can go up and around. So, uh, it Basher. It's much harder for them. Basher has a Correct. he has a walking speed of thirty. So he can go 60 on a dash. Yeah, we can dash up. We can dash up to where the action is. Okay. 5, 10. Dash on 10, up. 12, 13, 13. Okay. Alright, that's moving you up 60. Nice. I'll take it. Yep. Alright, so you move right after your... Uh, your ram there, so uh, you don't see any enemies, at least in your direct vicinity. Uh, you're dependent All on right. your ram moving you the rest of the way, unless you dismount him. No, I'm gonna hang out right here. I will use a bonus action to bring my spiritual weapon up 20 feet as close as I can to me, just to take care of that. Since yeah, nothing else to. Yep, right there's perfect pretty close and then I hold my action can I prepare like a guiding bolt if a enemy comes from the tree line or something sure we do that the first first drow I see drow or foe that emerges from the tree line I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a guy define, define, right at it. define foe Oh fuck! If, if I if they seem to have mal intent towards me or any of my friends or these villagers, they seem to be a raider or marauder of some sort. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. At least we see out of that. <laughs> that. That you know. I mean, <laughs> definitely if they're on a raptor. I mean, depending on how you define that. 
I mean, yeah. you could have turned around and saw me, and I would have gotten guided yeah, Bolton. I'll, I'll try and not guide, guiding Bolton. This, <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of up to God. He can interpret how he wishes to interpret it. Okay. All right. So I'll have you uh, ready in action. All right, Eliza, what do you want? Um. Okay, so there's nothing on this side. And then I'm going to have to... Well, can I see it? How big is this raptor? Uh, Like, would it be big enough are, for me to... If you are... So the tower itself is taller than where you're currently flying at. Unless you flew higher than 45 feet... If you flew up an additional 45 feet, you would be able to see over the tower. Okay. Okay, let's do that then. I'll go another 45 feet up. Okay, I just need to check something. To do that. Okay, so you do not see anything after you fly up 90 feet up into the tower, above, above where the building is at. I can't even see the other raptor? Uh, with your line of sight, even with your double sight, you do not see anything. Oh, god damn. Alright. Um... Okay. I'm gonna ask Nesca if she can see the other raptor. Not right now. Damn. All right. So we don't we don't know where to do this. Okay. So then I will. Well, I already flew a forty-five. Um, that's too far. Would you have wanted to have flown kind of forty-five? Feet in a diagonal line up that direction. Yep. That's fine. Yeah, but that counts as a dash, right? Uh, if you would want to dash to fly an additional 45 feet, you can. No, well, no, because I went up 45 and then... Well, you, you got to imagine, too, kind of like moving linear, like kind of going, you know, diagonal 45 in the air. Okay. Like you're going like five feet, like going up steps, basically. Like imagine, imagine got like it. that. Um... No, then I would just ready in action for whenever I see this fucking dinosaur or that drow rider. Actually, okay. the drow rider, because that's what I'm trying to hit. Okay, sounds good. Uh, I'm going to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45. And then I am going to hold my action to cast a firebolt at the um, Velociraptor if I happen to see it. Okay. Everybody copy and me. This drow to come in that tree lines is going to get like bombarded with about 7 million spells. Yeah, I don't think they're here. I don't think they're here. I think I think that was it. Uh, we'll move to this side of the church. About to and find then, out. Oh, hold on. I saw something. There's something in the church. It, it's on fire, though, right? Yeah, the church should still be burning, right? I assume the church is still burning behind us. That would be my assumption. I done seen something on the first floor as I passed by the windows. But it looked blue. I think it might be the vampire. Son, I was about to say. Oh, no, not the vampire. <laughs> uh, and then we're going to... Oh, is God. Gonna... Is he still alive? Is he still chilling in there? Or he uh, went out the other way. No, I think Empire? he's following you guys. You guys, point is you guys didn't kill him, right? I did not. Well, hopefully he just burns um, to dust, so. Let's see. 
Inventory. Can't it? I can't attack him right now. <laughs> let's uh, let's use this bad boy. Trying to see what you even used. Apparently, my thing was way high. Okay, so you healed your mount. I got you. Yeah, I only got the one. <clears throat> this one's a lot weaker than the other one that I had. Okay. All right, Mintra. So as far as you head. can tell, you don't see anything. Yeah. I'm just going to keep heading on then. 20, 25. And I'll just do a dash and do my full 50. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, Nesca, did you let us know there something was in the church or no? Wouldn't really uh, have the opportunity I, to. Yeah, oh. I'm, kind of, I'm kind of on the other side of the building. Yeah, okay. she was pretty much well, flying sure across. To, or anything. Uh, she was flying across looking for the other racker that and was mad dashing that way. Well, not dashing, but flew over that way. You think it's invisible, maybe? Ooh. So with a dash at... The dash I can get to there. Okay. All right, Logan. Where do you want your ram to take you? I think we need to follow where Nesca went. Yeah, Nesca's lead. Sure, correct. Yeah, we can do that. Correct. So. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. There you go. Gives you a dash on your dash on your ram. I think we'll move up my spiritual weapon 20 feet going up straight up beside the building too. Yeah, so I can do that as well. Five, sitting 10, pretty close. 15, 20. Yep. It's a bonus right action the main there. Door. That's pretty good. Yep. All right. So I think you're sitting on your mounts. I'm assuming you're ready in action in case you see something. Same deal. Same deal. We're like basically it. securing the perimeter here. Okay, sounds good. All right, Eliza. Uh, just to verify, Nesca did say she saw something. Did not see saw... anything. Does not. Did, did not, not see anything. anything. Nesca saw it, but did not verbalize to the party that she saw something. Oh, okay. Well, I ha I don't see anything around because I'm pretty high up. Yeah. So. I'm going to come down and to the front door here. So you're going to come down 45 feet? Or are you going to dash down 90 feet? I'm going to come down 45. Okay. And it's kind of looking down at an angle towards yep. the entryway. There's a front door there. Okay. So burn actually, let me take that back. And we're gonna go that way. Okay. And I'm just gonna hold what I got. Okay. Sounds good. Alright, Becca, what you got? Okay, so I'm going to stay put, and I'm still going to continue to hold my um, action of the firebolt. Okay, and then just reconfirming you're 45 feet up in the air. I am 45 feet up in the air, yes. Okay, just, just verifying. Uh-huh. Uh, 
Okay, I'll move to there. Okay, I'll drag your other body. That'll be my turn. Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't see anything on the outside of the building. I will pass that along to everybody. I've done a full lap. This Eliza is the closest one, so I'll let him know. Yeah. Okay. I'll relay that. Alrighty, Mentry. I would have heard that, right? Yeah, but before okay. you do anything. Oh god. <laughs> no, wait, what? I don't see anything. He Come paused on. the game, so you can't move. <laughs> I just saw. I just saw. Hey, he he just drew a little ominous line. Just lightning bolt. No big D. Yep. I mean, I feel like I'm in range for whatever it is. You the vampire. In, you are in range <laughs> for whatever it is. This is true. So as you're standing in the doorway or standing in that general vicinity, uh, yeah, there's you so notice... many other people. You notice a fiery figure make its way out of the building. Oh god. Oh no, it's the Wait, vampire. literally an on it's... fire vampire? Correct. Yeah, probably. God damn. He does not seem bothered by it. He is Shoot not it. frantic. He is just Shoot walking it. nonchalantly Shoot. towards that. Shoot I don't see him, where and... is he? And while you're very distracted by this, he looks at you dead at your eyes. No! God damn it. No! Oh, God damn it. No! Oh, you failed! No! Get him! Fucking get him! <laughs> so Becca and Mentor hey. cannot attack the vampire now. <laughs> hey. Hey. This is awesome. <laughs> Trigger oh. Nakanohom is about to just start <laughs> shooting civilians. <laughs> She's not mind controlled. She's just friendly towards a vampire. Correct. She's captivated by his beauty, just like Becca. <laughs> yes. So <laughs> oh. you to 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 further reiterate what happens when you are charmed, you regard the vampire as a trusted friend and to be heeded and protected. <laughs> so if the party begins to attack him, you will want to protect him. Although the target, which is you, is not under the vampire's direct control, the vampire can make requests or actions in the most favorable way it can. So if the vampire asks you to do something, you will try to do so with the best of your ability, if if can. I mean, do I have, like, a cyanide capsule I can just, like, go under the wagon and take at this point? <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, the only bad thing is it only That's lasts true. for 24 hours. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, it's only a day. So, I mean... Only. Day? Yeah, Dude, only a day? A day lasts so long well, in here. What are you well. talking about? It's literally only been five minutes since we started four weeks ago. <laughs> what do you mean? Wait, is that the still turn, though? Because yeah. I was like, slapping the shit out of her when we were coming up. Yeah, haven't I, like... You have not been hit since you've been but out. But Eliza was bitch slapping me. <laughs> yeah. Pull yourself together. Yeah. Trying to get that enough. This is hilarious. <laughs> this, is, this is actually hilarious. <laughs> Boars, kill the vampire. <laughs> I'm gonna kill the shit out of the vampire. Don't you worry about that. You have issues with undead. Massacre it. Do. Do. Do vampires count as undead? I could always use yeah. them. Yeah, he does count as undead. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I figured this would be this would be kind of fun. Um, uh, see if I can make it. See if it does it like I, this. So can I? Is the the vampire has walked out of the doorway? We have that really intimate moment. Is he walking in a specific direction now, or is he just like he is walking straight out of the church? To where all civilians are. Great. Correct. <laughs> and he's gonna start sucking on them. 
Yeah, yeah. for sure. See? <laughs> Is that his real name? No, but I wanted to do it for fun. That was for, funny. For, for, for lols. Um, Ugh, okay. And the question um, is, is does Mentra the, let the rest of us know? Literally the closest person to me is Becca. Yeah, you better <laughs> hope in, she doesn't respond and with she's fireball. In the, and she's in the air. Oh my gosh. Is anybody even close enough for me to let them know? You can scream it. I didn't know if you guys were in earshot, though. I know what I'm in. Okay, I mean, I guess Mintra will will yell to the rest of the party that a, the va a vampire, an on fire vampire, is walking out of the church, and that she needs help. Ugh. Needs help putting the vampire out. <laughs> I need help saving him. He's on fire. He's my best friend. Help! I got water. He's on my best. He made me a bracelet. It's not flame retardant. What is he gonna do? I have water. Don't worry. Uh. Okay. And I mean, his, he can still, can so can he still at, like make requests of me or whatever the further away I move from him? Or does it, it doesn't matter that how far away I am from him, right? It's technically not his turn. He basically stepped out, charged you at the start of your turn. But, like, you're still free to pretty much do what you want. But you just can't actively... Attack him. attack him because you would see him as a trusted friend and you don't typically a rational person wouldn't attack their trusted friend i've never been more annoyed in my entire life yeah <laughs> welcome to D, &D with brad yeah. it could be a lot worse technically Orland? speaking is a free action and he could tell you what to do right now oh my god this is true which, if you would prefer to do so, I can. If you're really <laughs> torn on wanting to know what to do, I can give you something to do. I'm just in a pickle over here because it's like, do I just be like, all right, deuces, civilians, have fun with the firebomb vampire. I'm going to go walk away and look for velociraptors. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> because the vampire is going to make me kill you. Uh... Well, he can look at you and say, make me fast. Yeah, he could do a lot of things. Which you can always make the vampire fast and see what happens. No, because I don't like even know challenge. what that means. Uh, that would be casting haste on the vampire. Oh, so literally making him fast and Correct. on fire. So on fire and also quite quick. Yes. We'll cast haste on the vampire. I'm not going to cast haste on the vampire unless he well, tells he me. Well, he asked you to cast haste on the he vampire. He already asked. Yeah. I thought you were being facetious. <laughs> do it. Oh God! Oh, I have oh to, right? Do I? I have to do it. This is this is absurd. I don't know. If your friends ask you to do something, do you have to do it? I mean, I'm not a very good friend, so I personally don't. I mean, if that's how Mintra is, you wouldn't Proud have of you to. Proud you for admitting your faults. Thank you. I go to a lot of therapy. If you're stingy, if Mintra's stingy with her spell slots, it wouldn't be something, you know. I mean, does is that how is that how it works? I can just decide I'm stubborn. Yeah, you can. And I, and I don't have to listen to the vampire? Okay, then I will not be casting haste on him today, sir. <laughs> All right, we'll do this. We'll see if your moral compass conflicts. Okay, cool. He's, he's going to make you roll. Odd. Uh, <laughs> what do you want me to roll? All right, we're going to roll a d4. So it's a little triangle in the, the bottom right-hand corner. All right. So even, you're, you're willing to help him. Odd, you won't help him. All right, somebody blow on the die. <laughs> I blew. Appreciate you. Oh, I have to hit roll two. That was anticlimactic. Wait, Love what it. did even? Uh, what even, even as again? you want to be helpful to the vampire. So you're casting haste on him? <laughs> Motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Don't worry, That's... Becca. That's Becca, fireball. Becca does not have... Oh, God. Um, so luckily for y'all, I can't cast fireball. <laughs> Did it cast? It cast, right? Yeah, yeah I, um... You know see. what the sad thing is, Becca? Right. I still got a fireball. Oh, wait, no, I can. <laughs> it's just gonna be at a higher tier level. Yeah, yeah. it just mm -hmm. really <laughs> hurt. <laughs> it would hurt really bad. <laughs> oh, God. That's fine. I'll it's, get in there and deal with it. what Becca would do, though. Uh, Nasir, disregard it just doing this. I'm not taking a spell slot, but you just have the correct on yours, so that's fine. I'm just doing that, so 
Disregard. How do you know what Becca would or would not do? I don't. <laughs> All right, Nasir. So I, I heard Mentor yell that there's a flaming vampire that came out of the church and needs our help getting put out, right? Yes, it needs help. He's in danger. He's in danger. <laughs> She's like, help my, my friend. friend. Help my dad. Help my friend. I'm in danger. And you see it. You see a. And you see a vampire in flames. But here, I'll, I'll, in a panic. I'll help him. There you go. Actually, I think he is being just. Okay, good. Can't tell with y'all people's tones anymore. <laughs> and uh, he can't heal until the my next the end of my next turn. Uh, he cannot regain hit points until the start. I'm sorry, to the start of my next turn. So that was move, action, and that'll be done. Okay. Sidebar. All right. Sidebar. Sidebar. And now he uses move. <laughs> oh shit, man! I'm reading fucking minds here. Oh my god. Is he moving? And... The fuck is he moving? He's he, coming over to me. He's going to look lovingly into your eyes, and we're all going to become a vampire cult. <laughs> uh, all right. If I, I have anything to say about the it. Good guy get advantage on charm saves. Should uh, avoid becoming a vampire. <laughs> okay. So Jessica he moves probably wouldn't like that what very much. What else does he do? Yeah, That's it. Would it. Be he bad for moves. your health. That's it. He just moved to you. Okay. Yeah. All right. What are you doing with your ram? Oh, me? You can see yeah. you can see the vampire boars. Yeah, I can see the shit out of the vampire. I'm I'm moving up and I'm coming to the side. I'm moving up and around, so I'm going this way. Can't move Basher. Basically going this way and then down, and I'm pulling up about five feet away from the vampire. Okay. Now Mitra did say that this is her friend that's on fire. I don't give a shit. I think <laughs> I think I know what this is. But I you mean, people would know she was charmed. I mean. She was pretty convincing that, like, someone please help my friend. And you okay. see Nasir immediately okay. attacking this person, which Nasir has been known for doing things a little hastily, like murdering things. Um, I have water. Oh, so, come on. Just saying. Come on. I got water. Technic technically, only Eliza and Becca would recognize him. Exactly. He does not, I mean... I mean yeah, I'm going to pull up and, and see what kind of vibe this guy has. So you just see Nasir just immediately attack him in cold blood, so... You don't, you don't have any cleric sense here? I no. Yeah, no, I mean, undead. you just see a guy on fire. It looks like he's in trouble. No, I mean, he was, no, bullshit. No, he said you he you was said he was very calmly walking. I mean, he's calmly on fire. I mean, that's a calmly guy that's in trouble. He's in shock. Would, that's would, shock. That's definitely something somebody literally insane and psychotic would do. Yeah, I would assume would, a calm person on fire is going to try to murder me. That would, t that would tip me off. I will say, I will admit, I will admit this. I'm probably very confused on what's going on. I'll probably admit that. I don't know if I would perceive All right. it as How about a this? threat. I don't make know it, make, I a, make a make a perception check if you can tell what's going on. I just turned around and saw Becca absolutely terrified, white faced, and you know. Right no, Becca's way. Becca's friendly. She's friendly with him. She's like, hey, it's my buddy. And <laughs> Becca's not terrified at all. Nasir just Nasir just the... attacked. Oh no, I'm still charmed. Oh, I thought you got slapped at. They were focused oh, no. on healing. They were oh, focused no. on healing. Okay. They were chugging healing potions like left and right. No, Becca has the warm and fuzzy feelings for him, and she doesn't understand it. Wars, I mean, as far as you can tell, I mean, this dude seems on the up and up. You just saw just a tear and a seer just attack a random guy that's on yep. fire. I mean, and you've seen what Nasir's this done at times where he's. I mean, he's he's acted like an animal. So I mean, you don't know if he's you don't know if he's reverting back to his former ways or what. I mean, I'm out. I have a question. Sure. Didn't I say a vampire was on fire though? Didn't I specify it was a vampire? You wouldn't. You know. said your friend. I would have known. You just, you just saw your yeah. friend is on fire. All right, right my sorry, friend guys, is on I'm fire. Help me. Hole. Yeah, your friend. My friend is on fire. Help him. Okay. Byron, stop licking me. Go. Now. It is your turn, Logan. You made your perception check. 
as far as you could tell. Seems like he's a nice guy. You got two people that have already vouched for him, and you have Masir attacking this guy in cold blood. Who's coming over here now? You'll see. Like this motherfucker. Do All what right. Forrest would do. WWBD. <laughs> Like, I, oh man, I wonder if there's actual, see if I can find it. Okay. Did you hit mm -hmm. the <laughs> Yeah. You hit the seer. <laughs> you hit <laughs> That's what Bors? Bors would do. I don't know what Bors would do. Oh my god. This isn't the first time this has happened. He'd be like, he's like, why are you, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Stop hitting innocence. I like it. Oh my god. I like it. Alright, now are you going to move your hammer up towards you? If you do, that's it. Coming up 20. Logan, where I'm far. <laughs> okay. Sidebar. Following boars. Fucking shit. Smacking Nasir in the face. With sacred flame. With sacred flame. The vampire. Oh, wait a second. Because um, this isn't going to pertain to Logan. Gonna charm Logan. Gonna nah. charm he can't, Logan. He can't, he can't charm, he can't charm him with the legendary action. I wish he could. That'd be clutch as fuck. But. I'll wait for Logan to. I'll wait for Logan to return. What does he do? Logan. Logan. He said be right back. I know that. I'm, oh. <laughs> I'm, doing, it. I'm doing it out of impatience. Ah, gotcha. Because I, I want to tell my plot device, but I can't because he's not here. And I want him to be here for it. Because otherwise I'm... Yes, okay. yes, I can. Sweet Jesus, thank God. Okay. I am listening. So, immediately after your turn, after you struck Nasir with your sacred flame, the vampire begins to move towards your direction. You see pain and fear in his face as he walks up towards your way and he points at Nasir and said, this man tried to kill me. I just want help. What a hoe. And he just looks at you with just this pain in his eyes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> like, I'm trying to see if there's a, a good one. Uh... <clears throat> You are on he fire, just, sir. He just, he's just kind of he's just kind of looking at you. It's just like please, just please help me. Oh my god. I don't know why he's doing this. And now this is allies want <laughs> your turn. Really a uh, okay. He looks he looks to be in pain because of the flame that's hurting him. Oh my god. In the most boisterous vo voice possible. It's a sassy horseshit. 
Uh, yeah, it is. Oh, God. <laughs> the blood sucking demon. <laughs> Like, it's a vampire. I ran. Uh, he kind of far from me, but, uh... Did you just call the vampire blood-sucking demon? Yes. Did. Welcome to the party. Oh my god. Well, I can't hit the broadside of a barn right now. <laughs> Was three. So, following Elizar's turn, mm -hmm. the vampire looks at you, Becca. <laughs> and he looks at you with pleading eyes and he says, Help hide me. Uh. I'm going to cast my free once a day darkness spell. That is a valid way of hiding him. And place. I'm going to stop um, concentrating on fly and land. Okay. I'm going. Oh, that that would have been all my movement. Okay. I still see you, you piece of shit. <laughs> so I guess I just see a giant bubble of darkness when I come around the corner. Correct. He's fucking in there. <laughs> this is so much fun. Don't all right. Well, we're going to move in there as well. At its center. <laughs> uh, this is fun. Talking is a free action. I'm going to relay exactly where that dumb son of a bitch is. <laughs> <Just dumb. laughs> or is this just dumb? True story. <laughs> It could have been a lot worse. He could have, he could have asked Becca to do something different. So, <laughs> hey, the night's not over, and this thing is still fucking alive. <laughs> sorry, I really am sorry. Partially breathing. <laughs> All right, so Nesca, you have a lot uh, of things targeted. What are you trying to cast? I'm trying to untarget everything. Usually when I'm I hit having... alt and when I hit alt and do something that usually defaults and just takes away everything but just the one I'm trying to hit whenever I hold alt and click something. Cunt. Yeah, the problem is my I think my griffin's really big and it's like Okay, I'll, in the try way. And, I'll try to move him off a little bit to see if that helps. Uh is there like a No. Sort of helping, but not quite. What are you trying to do? I can help you out. Trying to untarget everything but the big thing in the middle. Obviously, but other than other than oh, that, like, are you trying to fuck. attack or? Yeah, I'm just gonna I... swing with my sword. It should okay. be a disadvantage, yeah. but. I should have done something about that darkness. Yeah, you could have done a counter spell. I, I could guess you have. Kind of can. Wish I could have. Uh... Too bad. Too late. <laughs> Is it though? Yeah. Throw anything else on top of it. Um, how much can I 
do. Yeah, we can do a we can do a uh, a smite. That'll be fine. Let me go ahead and do that. Now it's got a bunch of stuff targeted, so worst case, I can do it for you. Um, yeah, just do a third level smite on top of him. Okay, I got you. All right, so third level smite. The nice thing is he can't. He doesn't get to regenerate this round. Oh, so Nesca gets to hit the vampire. You could have done it. <sighs> Unfortunately. Boris is not seeing Nesca hitting the vampire. Boris can't see anything right now. <laughs> no, but you heard so, him say it. Very confused. That's a good point. I did. So, so Mintra. Uh, you hear the vampire's voice pleading to you. Okay. What does it say? Um, he's saying to protect him. Okay. Let me see what let me see what I've got. I hate working for the vampire. This is literally the worst. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, you have a legitimate reason. You're under a spell. That doesn't mean I like it. Apparently I'm just not that smart. Okay, well I guess I'll start <laughs> heading into the <laughs> dark cloud. <laughs> Fucking protection. Because I, I can't see anything, right? To, so, like, I can't, like, shoot anybody from the darkness because cool. I can't see anything Correct. in there, right? Um, so, if you shot in there, you'd be kind of shooting blind. Um, yeah. The last thing you saw go in there was Nesca. So, you would kind of... Uh, um, <laughs> you, you, you saw Nesca fly in there on the griffin. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> The only other thing you could potentially do... I don't know, um, man. It doesn't seem like there's anything to do about it. Yeah. I mean, he's in there. Worst case, you would just have to just try to run to get to him. And yeah, you could dash you to get in there with us. Dash in there with you people? 30, 35, 40... 50 would get you right here. Not you'd be able to see anything once you get in. Yeah, you're... Yeah. you're 50 would put you right... Uh, Right, right in here. Right right in the thick of it. Yeah, but would I be able to see anything in there? Like, nope, is it me is, is it me helping if I just go in there and start shooting random things that I can't see? Well, no. you would have dashed. That would have been your action, so you wouldn't waste, you know, <laughs> heal, help Yeah, anybody. but I'm saying in the scenario I chose to dash, was, is there a point to it? I'm not even going to be go helpful. Help, to help protect it. But what you could do is you could... Uh, let me see what it what it costs. Let me let me verify. So it's, um, uh, let's see. Okay, so you don't have an action right now to do it, but you could on your following turn cast your can to do the barrier that does like a protection bubble. I thought I had to take a long rest before I cast that cannon you can again. Use it as a spell slot. You can use a spell slot to you summon your cannon again. Sacrifice a spell slot to bring it back. Yep. Even as low as a first level spell slot, you can bring back your cannon. That'll be my last spell slot, though. Or, so on top of Mintra being really stubborn, can she also talk herself out of helping this vampire? Just like trying to use logistics in her brain. Like if I can, if I can talk my way out of it, can I roll again and see if I don't get to help the vampire? You can use some neuro linguistic programming. Well, I mean, can I make a pros is, and cons list? This thing is your very trusted friend for you to to heed and protect. Now, yeah, but people, if me going the in there you're... isn't going to help, if it's going to hinder him, then I don't want to go in there and get in the way. Well, then you also got to think this, to too. The people you just met are not your friends. You don't know no. them at all. So the most loyal person and the person you care about the most right now in this section is that vampire. All he right, is Brad, most I will dash into person. the darkness. I dash to the darkness. Go to protect my friend. Save those kids in the clock tower, or the bell tower, rather. Apparently I don't. I'm, I'm really sorry, because it was a lot of fun. We ran those stairs for that. Ember. All right, Nasir. 
You're in the darkness now. Yeah. You're gonna make it back in a body. Where are these threats for Becca? She's out here, like, casting darkness on this bitch. <laughs> but it's like, I can still... And I am so, so fucking tempted. Oh, man. Oh. What you got, Nasir? Make sure you flank around him so we get the advantage. I don't know where he's at. I'm swinging blind here. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love he's Eliza. Look, smart he's elf. literally on fire. Well, no one can see that he is on fire now because he's in darkness. Only Eliza can see that he's on fire. <laughs> now he's he smoldering. Made it. <laughs> you can make it worse and cast silence over the area so that nobody can do any spells either. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> you know, well, I guess, I I guess the good thing Nat's not here. <laughs> I would be perfectly fine with that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> can I make a perception check to see if I can at least figure out where he might be because he's bleeding with people? Logan, what are you, uh... This is the best fucking session we've ever, we've ever had the pleasure to fuck up. God, can I make a perception check that, because he's pleading with people to protect him and... and... Trying to Help listen to based on yeah. Tr yet. Trying to listen based on sound. Sure, I'll let you roll a perception check. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. So, so I'll drag him out of the darkness so you can see him, so you can target him for something. Oh my god. Okay. Becca hasn't had this much fun since she burnt the church down. Uh, we will try again. Yeah. Nope. Double swing and a miss. But then, if I think he's there, I, I will take a five foot step that way and see if I can't. Don't bump into anybody. Okay, which way are you going? Up, down, left, right. Right there. Okay. Sounds good. All right. That'll be my turn. All right. So, Logan, you're in there with your ram. <laughs> it's like you missed. Don't. What are my What are my options here? This All is... right. So, you've seen Nasir attack this person that Becca and Mintra are doing their very best to protect. So, what you can infer. And Seer appears to be the enemy, and this Wait, person that but came Eliza, up to you. Eliza has told me that this. Eliza is, a is like yelling at the top of his lungs, so and I'm pretty he sure. Tried to Eldrick blast him. He tried to Eldrick blast him too, and he missed. But Nasir's all. Oh, sorry, Eliza is also a bit of a little fast, happy trigger himself. So, fucking <laughs> vampire. <sighs> all right, so Logan. Um, Thing to that. So, I mean, we'll, we'll do this. I'm going to roll a d4. If you roll <laughs> odd, you believe the vampire, and he doesn't appear to be an enemy. But if you roll even, you believe Nasir, and you think this thing might be a potential threat. Can I just run out of the darkness and go home? You can if you want to. If you want to run out of the darkness, you'd have to dismount your ram. I and, can't or, lay under the wagon and Or die. you could technically... You know, <laughs> I'm not charmed, Brad. But no, you can technically, if you want to run out of the darkness and see what the fuck's going on, that, that's that's a viable can I run option. Run out of the darkness and go talk to Elizar and say what is happening. I'm yes, so I can. Confused. We can do that. So we'll do I'm running out of the darkness with <laughs> you the on going on. <laughs> If only as a cleric, you had some sort of ability that let you know where undead were. Hey, God, can you move Basher so I can weird. untarget boars? 
Yes, hey, I will. I don't, I'm, don't, I'm not convinced he's an undead. All I know is Elizar's yelling about stuff. It's a vampire! <laughs> I'm gonna just go up to Elizar and be like, what the hell is happening? Go back in there, it's a fucking vampire. I'll tell you exactly where the fuck he is. <laughs> Take two steps to your left and swing with your left hand to your right. Just swing in a huge arc from left to right. Bird, can I go back in the darkness now? <laughs> Post haste, bring the spiritual thing with you. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. I'd like to go back into the darkness, hold out my warhammer, and spin in circles. Oh my god. I think oh I'm kidding. God. If that was what Eliza wants me to do, that's what we're doing. <laughs> Ass back in there. <clears throat> me and coach. Siren. All right, let me see. Let me see how far you would have taken you to get. So, Basher was right here. So we go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So if you dashed to get to, to about right here, about where Basher's at. So here, you could go back. You could get here with with on your mount. Okay. So you're I'll not actually toss, in the darkness, but you're you're I'll just here. Toss Newton's bane into the darkness, and then I'll send my spiritual weapon in the darkness. Okay. So you want to throw Jotun's bane. All right. So if you Fucking throw right in there. if you throw Jotun's bane, it's more than twenty. It's more than fifteen feet. So it's with disadvantage. Sure. But it's already fine. disadvantaged anyway because he's in darkness. So. Sure. We'll just let it ride because honestly, that's uh, is gonna do that. And then the spiritual weapon, which is right here. So, spiritual weapons in, and I'll have him swing at the uh, at the guy. So you hit the vampire with your spiritual weapon. Out time. All right. So Elizar. Yes. <laughs> You clearly see the vampire in the oh, darkness. Oh, absolutely! <laughs> you see him pleading and begging all the other people to see not hurt him. See through darkness, Elizar. I can. Yes, he does. He has oh, the level um, sight. That's he can amazing. see through magical darkness. Yeah. That's amazing. If I had my sixth level spell slot available, I could do it too. I should have okay. just put you on my ram's back, and you could just tell me where to swing. As if my words weren't convincing enough. It'll be yep. fine. Alright, so go ahead, Lazar. Wait, no. Why? Disadvantage for him, right? It should be neutral. Yeah. Or no, it no, it's advantage. It's right. That's right. He rolls oh, with advantage. Good. Yeah, you're oh, good. Okay. Oh, that's wrong. You just missed with advantage, is all it was. Oh, of course. Okay. Why not? Yeah. <clears throat> Let it happen again. It rolled off that 20 for a second. Ah, I was hoping it was going to land on that too. It's Shit. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. Even though I'm pretty sure he's not going to go anywhere for right now because he's like the safest thing in the world. Yeah, he's not having, he's not having a great time, but that's okay. Boy. Okay, so... Ah, everything's targeted again. <laughs> Becca. You protected him with your darkness. Yes. He looks at you, or he... You hear the sound of his voice, because he's relatively close to you. And he pleads to you to heal him. I can't heal him. You have a lot of potions. Look at him. Becca is very stingy with her potions. He is a trusted <laughs> friend who is in pain and needs help. Uh, you've read Becca's backstory. It doesn't matter if he's a trusted friend. She doesn't share potions. <laughs> that's like that's like in that's that's actually in her her Becca character. Becca tries to run into the darkness. Can I reprimand her? I just like scoop her up with my hand. Like, no, you don't. No, like realistically, like Brad knows Becca's character. She. she like, she would not give a potion to really anybody unless it benefited her. Oh, just in case that you do. Scoop you up. 
<clears throat> All right, you're over there. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, as far as you can see, uh, all of your people that you're with are attacking your friend. And he's pleading for your help. You should cast a different spell that causes concentration. He did want you to hide him. You could break your concentration and cast invisibility on him. And that would hide him. Oh, God. I know. Uh, I don't want to. <laughs> um, let me see here. Um, nope. Oh, God. Oh, no, not that one. And you do have the means to cast invisibility. You can cast regular invisibility. Huh? You said you can get you can cast yep. regular invisibility. Yep, I can. All right. Um, can you move faster because for some reason boards is targeted again? That's fine. I got. Thank you. you. And then um, I can't see him. Yeah, I'll do this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <clears throat> Good times. So the darkness falls away. The darkness mm -hmm. does. Uh, counter spell this time. Okay, so she's casting it as a fourth level spell. Oh. Okay. And I need to make an intelligence check, I believe. Yep, okay. that'll get it. Because it's 10 plus the level of the spell. Okay. See him now. And I'm not concentrating, right? Nope. Correct. You would no okay. longer be concentrating. Okay. Okay. All right, so that's your turn. So, uh, okay. are you going to move your griffin? Did it not take my my spell slot away? Uh, you didn't actually use counter spell, so did you use it as a third level? Yeah, I did. I'll uh, I'll do this. Uh, Why am I targeting boards? My bad. I was I didn't just gonna there you go. Spell slot away. There you go. I got you. Oh boy! Oh, there it is. I mean, it didn't do much, but... Hey, better than nothing. Okay. Right, let's do this. Uh... Yeah, fuck it. Uh, so, before... You have advantage before now, you, right? Uh, yep. So... Edition... <laughs> Somewhere? It's in here, I know it is. Don't see it. No, oh, oh, there it is. So before before you attack. Oh, oop, well, I already did. I'm, 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 I'll undo this. Okay. Okay. So after your thing moved, I'm sorry. After your Griffin moved, um, uh -huh. he would have done his legendary action to move. Okay, well, I'll hit him before he moves, so you can add that 26 back on there. Uh, it He does not provoke opportunity attacks when he does this move. Very actions. Yeah. That's <laughs> part of Vampire moves at speed without provoking opportunity attacks, So, he, but he only can move the 30 feet. So. <laughs> like broken, I know. So, he will go 5... 10, 15, 20. Twenty-five. Yeah, so he was here. So five, ten, fifteen, fifteen. It's gonna be a hard no. He can't go through my griffin space. Are you floating in the air, or is he on the ground? No, nope, we're on the ground. He's on the ground. Melee. Okay. Uh, 
Now he's going through other people. Assuming those people haven't fucking peaced out, which is weird. But realistically, no, almost none of them would be there. Like, it would pretty much be anything that's this would be whole. I think the only two people that are on the ground are the two that were still technically dead. Uh, exception of the one that's petrified. That one's just a brick. Because there were still two that were dead that we never picked up, but they can always be rezzed. And the two children's two chitmans. <laughs> the two unconscious children. Okay. Okay. He will end his turn there. Or end his movement at the end of your Griffin's turn. So Griffin will go. Then Nesca, it's the start of your turn. Cool. You're on your Griffin, but you can dismount and just go a couple feet to attack him. Uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait okay. for the game to be unpaused. Yeah, I got you. So I'll dismount with half my movement, and then I'll take a step downwards, and I'll hit him. Which I guess no longer has advantage. And then I'll keep eating him until he's for sure dead. Okay. Does that mean we're not charmed anymore? Uh, one second. I'm trying to find my guy. Where'd he go? <clears throat> I hate, that's the only thing I hate about when they do this. Okay, where's it at? He magically has a second health bar. Ha ha! <laughs> no! Plot twist, he has a twin brother. <laughs> Plot twist, his twin brother was the priest. Wouldn't doubt, wouldn't doubt well, it. he was working with the, tw the priest. Wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> There's something wrong with that priest. For all we know, you two are working with a priest. <laughs> <laughs> After this long, if I'm working with a priest, like, I guess. The priest? Not you, the two protect trying to protect the vampire. Uh, no, I just wanted to be included in the conversation. <laughs> This here is yeah. just kind of just gonna kind of look at Boris and raise an eyebrow. What the French toast? <laughs> okay, so let me uh, do something real quick. So I don't think I can revert that, but I can do. Um, Mirror back. I'm trying to think what the effect is. Let's see. So disregard this initial image. I gotta change it. Ah, damn it! It did it itself. Grr. That's not what I wanted. Do, 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 token magic and let's do mm, what's a good one I guess that'll work okay and make sure this is self target description going on I don't know what's going on for those of you who don't know when vampires drop to zero they turn into some like misty thing and try to go back to their little coffin that's hidden somewhere uh, oh, of, course. of course of course okay that's what's going on Wait, what's but that's on? okay because the building is on fire so he's just going to instantly die as soon as he tries to go away true or so we think that's assuming his coffin's here in the church. 
Well, that's a bunch of coffins down in the basement. I didn't even get a chance to turn undead. I'm disappointing. They won't let me remove that stupid effect. Well, he is like a misty fog looking thing, but I can't uh, make it look the way I want it to look, unfortunately, because he's... Maybe I can... Ooh, remove it this way. Can I, like, throw holy water at that? I want it dead. Just just pee on it. No, 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 no. I want it to be holy. Holy piss. Yeah. So the, the, the exact... I'll go, the, I'll go bless some water layer and we'll chug uh, a gallon. So the exact thing of it is uh, the misty escape. So when it drops to zero points outside its resting place, it transforms into a cloud of mist as a shape changer trait instead of falling unconscious. Provided that it's not sunlight and it's not overrunning water, um, then it'll transform into this mist. And while it's at zero hit points in the mist form, it cannot revert to its vampiric form and it must reach its resting place within two hours or be destroyed. Once in its resting place, it reverts back to its vampire form and is paralyzed until it regains at least one hit point. After spending one hour in its resting place with zero hit points, it regains one hit point. Yeah, fuck so, you too, Dan. Fire, fire of the building wouldn't uh, prevent it from maintaining its smoke. Cool. Can I still move before yeah, it goes? That's, yeah, it's, uh, it's basically done, so that's the right. end of combat. I'm going to open my bag of holding and scoop it up into there. Okay. Nice. Can you do that? <laughs> Technically, like yes. There's like nothing. That. There's nothing saying that you Your can't scoop up the thing of like of the mist. Yeah, that's just fine so, with me. Now it's in another dimension for the next two hours. Yeah. <laughs> God. Uh, all right. Awesome. All right. Good times. Anyway. Oh my god. My baby, you got hurt. So are we still charmed? Yeah, are no, we charmed for the next two hours? It's technically, well, te yeah, for, you would be, for two hours you'd be charmed by it, but then after that the effect would go away. They just, I mean, like, isn't it they technically just, on We're a sitting here plane, crying though? because our friends It is actually in another plane. dimension, so it's another plane of existence. Oh yeah, so we're not charmed would, anymore. Yeah, Yay. It, would the, it would remove the charm effect. Yeah, Becca feels dirty and wants to go take a bath now. It's all right. Eliza's coming over there to scold you now. Come here. Enter. Uh, we're going to have a talk. <laughs> She's going right. to pout and cross her arms. I didn't mean it. Cool. Now we can all go into the basement together. Yay. Okay, well, I guess uh, we can do that at the start of the next session. Viserys just giving uh... Boars this look of, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like, hey, I just, I do my things. Becca's gonna, Becca's gonna kick and scream and like swat at Eliza's hands. So much trouble. <laughs> that you are going to time out. <laughs> I suggest you let her go. You're an adult. You don't Jesus. have to take that from him. <laughs> I highly suggest you let Becca go. Nah, that's fine. <laughs> she will. She will cast a spell on you. <laughs> Tossed. No spells for you. A mind control spell. Becca literally blasts a fireball on top of her analyzer. <laughs> cool. Fire resistance. We're good. <laughs> Fire resistance. Exactly. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Alrighty. Well, this was well, fun. When are we doing yeah. this next? Uh, let me grab my phone. Look, I can let you know. All right. So next week, the first and the fourth, you're working, which is that Wednesday and that Saturday. So it looks like it's either going to be Wednesday the eighth or Saturday the eleventh. Unless uh, you end up being off like Memorial Day, and you want to do it Monday, but. That would just depend on if people would want to play on the holiday. Yeah. Plans I'm for Memorial Day. So. Yeah, and no Memorial Day. Yeah. So yeah, I uh Nasir, are you doing anything on Tuesday the thirty first? Uh is that your other game? Yeah, it it would be. That's fine. No, um, no I'm sorry. 
Uh, no, it would not because I play this. I play on the thirty first. Yeah, that's what he asked. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I was oh, asked. Oh, this Tuesday. Yeah. Like I that's... we're talking about the seventh. Sorry. No, uh, like... Yes, I would be playing this Tuesday. Okay. Yeah, the only day I could do would be that Tuesday or that Thursday, but um, for sure. And then next week, the 6th or the 11th, possibly the 8th if I don't work, which I don't know if I'm for sure working yet, so any one of those three days. So I'll, I'll, uh, whatever. I'll, do, yeah, I'll, do a, I'll do a poll for yeah, Monday and Saturday. Calendar here. Yeah, I'll do a poll for Monday or Saturday. With a potential for Wednesday, depending on how. Uh, is that is that Monday the sixth? We're talking. Correct. Yeah. Right, cool. I'm gonna write that down. Yeah. Either Monday the sixth or Saturday the eleventh. Either one of those is good for me. So. Okay. So yeah, I guess tomorrow will just be an off week. Which cool. is fine. I'll it's fine by me. Fiddle stuff with the Strahd game just in the meantime, just because I'm pretty prepped on this for a little while. Um. Because I still gotta fiddle with that a little bit. But all right, yeah, sounds good. All right, y'all have a good rest of your evening, and uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Later. See you. Bye. That was fun Bye. fighting vampire with you all. Oh yeah. Bye. Later. Good night. Bye. Good night.